Finally, we're back. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor and welcome back to another one of my Death Battle prediction videos. So, next time on Death Battle for the Season 9 premiere, we have Harley Quinn from DC versus Jinx from League of Legends. Now, of course, Jinx was one of the characters that was revealed at the end of Saitama versus Popeye, you know, one of the teased combatants for Season 9. And I know I'm not the first person to say this, but I was pretty darn sure that it was going to be Harley Quinn fighting Jinx. Harley Quinn was just the most popular character out of Jinx's possible opponents, so I figured Death Battle would just go with her. And on top of that, I I thought that this fight was going to be pretty early in the season as I thought Death Battle would want to tie it in with the Batman and Arcane as much as possible. So you know I think it's an interesting choice for the season premiere for sure and Harley Quinn may or may not have been my first choice for Jinx but regardless I'm really excited that Death Battle is back with season 9 and I hope that we at least get a really good episode out of this. And on top of that you know having a League of Legends character in Death Battle at all is pretty hype no matter how you slice it. So to start let's look at these characters individually starting with Harley Quinn. Of course, Harley Quinn has not actually been on Death Battle before, but other similar characters have been on the show before, and we know what Death Battle tends to do with them. For instance, when it comes to speed, I could see them scaling Harley Quinn up to Batgirl's lightning dodging feats, as they mentioned on the show before, and there are some feats in the Batman slash DC street tier realm that could possibly be used as arguments for putting those characters around the relativistic range, but Death Battle has never really done that before with those kinds of characters, and I think Harley Quinn would be a weird place to start doing that, but they could possibly do that, that is definitely possible, but either way she is still significantly faster than what a normal peak human would be at, of course, and she's also incredibly acrobatic. And locking down her physical strength is a little hard to do in terms of specifics, again her being a peak human in the DC universe is not the same as being a peak human in the real world, so it's a little hard to say. We do know though that she can hold up to Batman's strength a lot of the time, and with the help of a potion courtesy of Poison Ivy, she was actually able to fight characters characters as strong as Killer Croc, again if Death Battle decides to include that. She's also had a lot of other non-standard buffs over the years, and you could look at other stuff like Injustice Scaling for instance, but I'm not confident that Death Battle is going to be using any of that, so I'm just going to push it to the side for now. And Harley Quinn's physical power is not the only thing she has going for her in terms of attack capability. She also carries a ton of explosives and other similar gadgets, which you could argue are powerful enough to threaten Batman in his standard suits, which Death Battle has analyzed a bit before. They don't seem to be able to go much further than that, but still, it's impressive nonetheless. And we also know that she's at least a decently skilled fighter when compared to a lot of the other characters in the Batman realm. She's fought Batman and Joker and Two-Face and Black Mask and a ton of other characters. We know she's also intelligent, at least as far as her medical training is concerned, and in terms of battle tactics, at least to a degree. And she also carries a ton of other weapons on hand pretty much all the time, mostly including her mallet and her pop gun, possibly also Joker Venom. I'm not sure if Death Battle is going to include that. I don't think she carries it on her all the time, especially after she and the Joker split, but they might include it. I'm not sure. And she also carries a bunch of other wacky weaponry that fits her character sometimes, like various guns, possibly even rocket launchers, you know, wacky stuff like that. So now we move on to Jinx. And of course, we've never seen a character quite like Jinx show up on the show before, so there's really no basis regarding what Death Battle will or will not say about her. But of course, you know, she's not unanalyzable, so we'll try to do our best for this prediction video. Now, I'm not sure whether or not it's been confirmed if Jinx is going to get stuff from like Odyssey Jinx or Star Guardian Jinx, but I'm leaning towards that Death Battle won't include those things just because those versions of Jinx are like different versions altogether. I think it'd be kind of weird if Death Battle were to just amalgamate all the versions of Jinx into one, like Base and Odyssey and Star Guardian, and if they decide to go that route that they don't include that stuff, then that means she wouldn't get access to some of her stronger weaponry, like the Morning Star, for instance. If Jinx were to get all of that stuff included for her, then I definitely think she would win. I just think her feats and scaling are way above Harley Quinn. But for now, I'm just going to assume that we are not looking at those things because that would be my guess. So here's where things get a little complicated. There are many League of Legends characters like Jinx who are likely able to approach the physical capabilities of characters like Darius, who was able to withstand an explosion.
explosion big enough to wipe out a town approximately from a meteor, which means that some of Jinx's standard strongest weapons are probably at least in the same ballpark in terms of power. She, I think she's also considered a superhuman by League of Legends standards, but obviously her weaponry would be more powerful than her herself. And in terms of her standard weaponry, she has Pow Pow, which is a machine gun, she has Fish Bones, which is a rocket cannon, her Zap Blaster, which is a gun that shoots electricity, her exploding fire chompers, and the super mega death rocket, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. There's also the possibility of summoner rift items, which are potentially even more powerful, and she's been known to carry other useful items, such as a gas mask, for instance. Speed-wise, there doesn't actually seem to be that much for Jinx, at least as far as, like, supersonic feats are concerned, although you could make the argument that many League of Legends characters are able to react to light attacks from Leona, as we have seen it happen, and I believe there are a couple of other examples as well. Again, it's hard to say whether or not Jinx scales or to what degree she would scale, but regardless, light stuff does exist in the League of Legends universe at least. We know Jinx is also a very skilled inventor and is able to think quickly on her feet on the battlefield. So obviously I could keep going and really get into the nitty gritty of these characters, but I don't want to waste time trying to go over every single thing that I know. But when trying to compare these characters, there are definitely some advantages that seem harder to lock down than others. For instance, I think it's fair to say the Harley Quinn is the more skilled fighter, at least on a technical level, but when it comes to speed, it's a little harder. Both of these characters potentially have scaling that could put them at the relativistic range, but I don't know if Death Battle is going to go with that, or they might go with it for one character and not the other. Again, it's hard to say. Although if they do disregard that scaling for both of the characters, then Harley Quinn probably is faster, just if you want to scale her to lightning dodging, and she's also probably more agile. However, while those categories and those advantages are obviously important, we also have to look at these characters' weaponry and compare them to each other, and try to think how well each of them could hold up to each other's weaponry. I think it's first important to bring up that even if Harley Quinn does get access to Joker Venom in this fight, Jinx does have her gas mask, which should be able to counter that for the most part, just wanted to get that out of the way. And when comparing their weapons side by side and the destructive capability of everything, I think that Jinx has more going for her. Again, Death Battle might include something ridiculous like the Morning Star for Jinx, and if they do, then yeah, that's game over for sure. But even if they don't, Jinx's standard weapons and her summoner rift items through scaling to Darius are just noticeably above anything that Harley Quinn has shown through her own arsenal, or even endured for that matter, to my knowledge. And even though I wouldn't be surprised if Harley Quinn and Jinx both definitively had the destructive capability to be able to overcome each other's durability, I'd still want to say that if anything, Jinx would have an easier time standing up to Harley Quinn's assaults than the other way around. I do believe Harley Quinn does actually have a feat that shows that she has some impressive accelerated healing when it comes to smaller scale attacks, but still, due to the rapid and overwhelming firepower of Jinx's weapons, I still think there's a bigger case to be made for Jinx throwing out more powerful hits than Harley Quinn on average, and Jinx being able to tank more of Harley Quinn's hits on average. Especially considering a lot of Jinx's weaponry seem to be able to cover more physical area, like area of effect type stuff. And yes, while Harley Quinn does have a lot of impressive weapons and gadgets, like her explosives, a mallet, her guns, and possibly even more, I don't really see them holding up shot for shot. Honestly, this prediction is a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Again, if we're just looking at base, regular Jinx, then I'd want to say that Harley Quinn probably has the advantage in terms of fighting ability and might be faster depending on what Death Battle says, but then I'd want to say that Jinx probably has a more destructive and effective arsenal all around and might be able to take more punishment as well. I don't think there's a huge difference in terms of stuff like physical strength or combat intelligence, etc. Etc. Et not saying that there's no difference at all, but just not by as big of an amount. So this is kind of tough for me to decide. But like all fights to the death, it's really about who can kill the other one first. And even if Harley Quinn does have a bit of a speed advantage, I'd want to say that Jinx still has the necessary weaponry to be able to take Harley Quinn out before Harley Quinn can take her out. So because of that, and because of the fact that they might be including things that I'm not sure if they'll be including, or things that I haven't even brought up in this video, like Odyssey Jinx, or Star Guardian Jinx, or other assorted weapons that exist in League of Legends, 
I think it's more likely to side with Jinx on this one. I could definitely see Harley Quinn winning if Death Battle puts more of an emphasis on her advantages, and she might even have some advantages that I'm not even aware of, or I might not be able to piece together. But as it stands right now for this prediction video, I think I have to lean more towards Jinx as the winner of this death battle. But anyway, guys, that is the prediction. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment your comments down below, subscribe if you could too. That would be amazing. That would really help the channel out. I am super excited for death battle to come back with season nine. And even if this was not your first choice for the premiere or for, you know, the Jinx fight, I still hope that you enjoy the episode. I have really high hopes for it. Uh, but yeah, that's really it for me. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.